And I annotate it's a pretty cool program. Here we have a um, PowerPoint presentation that was converted uh, to a PDF. And it can be annotated using all kinds of great tools. Now you can see, I can vertically scroll here. You can see I started to annotate some of this. I'm going to work through some of this presentation and come to a place where we can actually take some notes here. So we can say, let's just say we want to fill in this line here on this blank from a PowerPoint. I can pinch to zoom in. On the right side of the screen, there's a toolbar. And in here, we can, let's say, select, obviously with my finger, but I'm moving the cursor, the pencil tool. I can go to the options up top if I want. I could select on the slider bar that I'm moving, how thin I want it, and the color. Click off. And here I could say um, it's what it dissolves. Let's just say a solute. Right? What dissolves the Select it again, solute, hit done in the top right when I'm done each time. Pinch again, pinch back out, move back in. Want to do a little highlighting. So if I want to highlight, I could select the highlighter tool on the right that's now set for pink. I can hit it. I could change the colors to yellow. And here I can drag over because this was converted from Microsoft PowerPoint directly into a PDF. Because of that, it recognizes the text. When I'm done, I hit done. And now it's kind of locked in there. Each thing though, as soon as I hit it, I can kind of get that menu up top right to do different things to it. Each time I hit an annotation. So I hit that text there. And if I hit resize, right, we can pinch it in kind of does a little blue, it handles it as one item, I can move it around, hit done, you can see what happens here. This is also a separate item because I wrote it at a separate time in a separate piece, hit done. Okay, again, so this is how I work, I can annotate, let's just say diagrams and pictures, okay. So here I could, let's just say, right in here, higher Concentrate. I'm taking some notes. Okay. This is lower. Concentrate. Done. Okay. Take these nice little notes in here. Move through. Maybe I want to <clears throat> thicken up my pen for this diagram annotation and change it to pink. And we could say that higher concentration is going to move in, lower concentration is going to move out. Really nice, Hit done. Done a good job annotating our diagram. All right. And this is the basics of annotation in this program. Kind of cool things is you can mess around with the toolbars on the right side here. And if you hit those little arrows down there, it says how you could do this. You could add and customize these toolbars. Here, I'm going to click off here you see uh, there are these different cool little pop-ups. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to select the green little pop-up right now and I'm going to put it in here and say right on there and I'm going to say keyboard comes up aqua horns are important for passive transport of water. And these are my notes, so they're kind of messy there, but that's okay. Click off when I'm done, move it around, minimize it in, click it, it flashes and tells me it's there. Click it, minimize. Click it, pin it down, okay, locks it down. I can't move it right now. I'm trying to move it. You can't see my finger, but I'm trying to. 
and there it is. Nice little tool. Go to my toolbars again, click on the toolbar I want, other little functions here, click on the main toolbar. Main toolbar, you know what? Teacher says I want to type something. Hit the typewriter on the right side here, okay? Sorry, my iPad keeps hitting the, the uh, volume button, okay? And I'll hit the typewriter thing. I'll tap where I want to do it and say, hello, world. Great. Hit off. Hit done. It's an item. I can click it. I can rotate it by double finger moving it. I think I can. I can move it, rotate it. Okay, I'm taking two fingers, my index finger and my thumb, putting it in on top of hello world, and I'm able to spin it. Move it around, okay, and do some other things to it. Done. Other cool things for teachers. Teachers could put in some stamps. So uh, when you go to the tools, which is this great little button on the lower right here, where I'm moving the cursor, you can kind of mess around with uh, stamps over here. Okay, I'm just learning this program. Um, so if I tap on it, on anywhere on it, this list of stamps come up. Kind of cool things. Oh, there they are. A little positive reinforcement. If you give an F minus, I'm pretty sure that you're not a good human being. But um, really, look at look at all these things put in there. It's definitely geared towards teachers, um, people in business. All right, so I'm really going to pick something super practical like crossbones. I mean, what's more practical than that? I'm gonna resize it, rotate it. There we go, done. Crossbones, Who, what's better than that? Anything you click on, you can delete by hitting the delete symbol in the upper right. You add a note to it, etc. cetera. All right. Very cool, um, very cool little features there. Uh, other tools you can play with, a lot of the ones we've even seen. Uh, they're, they're inserting photos, um, all different ones you can learn and mess around with. Just going through the basics and basically the ones I, I know of. I'll do more advanced tools and move forward, it's all tools. But again, very powerful program. Uh, one last thing is your ability to organize. So up in the left here, all you have to do is hit library and it brings you back out. And when you're out there, here you have your library of imported files. I'm going to hit library here on the top there. Bring me back. So I created a folder called biology. In the upper right-hand corner, I'm going to create a folder right now called uh, <clears throat> uh, math, just because to demo this. I'm going to hit the check mark. There it is. Now let's say I go into Safari and my teacher posts a uh, file, or you're a teacher and you post a file. You go to Safari, open the file, it says open and I annotate, you open it, it goes into imported files. You go to that file, you take it, check mark, and on the left side over here, you hit move, you select the file, math, move to math, and there you go, go back into library, go to math, check it out. Pretty awesome, great interface, super professional, great looking documents. An excellent tool for note-taking. And uh, that is iAnnotate. Hope you enjoyed this. More to come.